Let's discuss. Rachel back again with another reaction video and today I am stoked to be reacting to a new track from Alpha Wolf featuring Holding Absence. It is the last song taken from their split EP, The Lost and The Longing, which I have covered all of on the channel. I think so far my favorite has been Aching Longing, which would be the other split track, but Coffin had that chorus that I was really looking for. Uh, and at the same time, Hotel Underground has that like heaviness, that brutalness uh, that Alpha Wolf brings to the table. It was amazing live. I just saw them play last week. Uh, Alpha Wolf, that is, and I'll be seeing Holding absence in just a few weeks from now so very exciting I love these two bands today I'll be checking out 60 centimeters of steel which is alpha wolf featuring holding absence so the if the music video or visualizer that I'll be reacting to in this video all of the information for the EP and the bands will be in the description of this video I am going to stop talking and we are gonna get straight into it Alpha Wolf featuring Holding Absence, 60 centimeters of steel. Let's discuss. I really dig this one. This one will be 
it's gonna be hard to choose between this and aching longing which i think is cool between the releases on here to have the collaborations be my favorite tracks there's the chorus on this one that's not really what i had been i guess expecting for the feature but i also wasn't totally sure because with aching longing it did feel like that tapped into a, a heavier side of of holding absence which had been already like foreshadowed or, or however you really want to word that though it's it wasn't like out of left field or anything i think that we've seen some of that like l sprinkled in their discography from lucas uh, but that was like the most straightforward like we're gonna do this and and it made sense to having a, a locky feature in that track uh, but i'm really glad that the alpha wolf featuring holding absence uh, part went this way because that chorus it was so catchy yet the verses and such uh, for example like when the song title is dropped it's like uh, i hate myself and you fucking love it that part there and then where it like slams in it's it's still incredibly alpha wolf uh, but then it has like that catchy chorus where it's like it's not holding absence style i wouldn't say it's like it's somewhere different you know somewhere between alpha wolf and holding absence um you know coming up with I don't know especially this being the closing track on the ep though i'm really glad that this was the last one because it felt like all right i've got coffin where i've got this chorus that i'm super into uh same with aching longing though the aching longing chorus sticks out to me a lot but then there are uh, some of that stuff in the verses where like there's a lot of grit in lucas's voice that stuck out to me a lot uh, aching longing just had like a combination of big soaring parts and and kind of like that gritty ag aggression and a little bit of like you know anger i guess not not anger necessarily but a little bit of i guess grit would be the best way way to word it from holding absence um but this having like i don't know it has like attitude in that chorus and it, it matches like okay sorry i'm having super add brain here i'm gonna finish this thought before i go into the visuals but i was super glad to see third eye visuals on here also um you know the video was incredible but let me finish up uh, but the f going back and forth too between locky and and lucas i was glad that we we had a little bit of that but overall i think that the chorus was uh, the way uh the the overlap of their vocals like the parts in which those were those were cho where the overlap was chose to like to be in such i thought that was very well sought out but it, it did a good job kind of giving each part its its own stage but like blending together if that makes sense so uh, having that chorus oh that's gonna be uh, stuck in my head for a while but uh, which you hear me say about stuff that definitely ends up getting a lot of plays for me so i feel like this will be up there with aching longing in term in terms of how much i'm repeating it and stuff that's that's a song i've played a, a lot uh, so that has a lot of plays for me. This will come in second. And then I'd be interested to see uh, b between Coffin and Hotel Underground which one I will end up listening to more. But overall, I'll need to listen to the EP in full, get it ranked on my list. But I really... Alpha Wolf and Holding Absence, I did think that, that was a joke when I first got told about this. Uh, because I, I probably would pick that as like... You know, it was almost like the era tour where I was like, haha imagine this lineup and then it was that lineup and i was like i am so sorry i would not have been so loud about this if i thought that this was really a tour sort of like that where i was like alpha wolf and holy absence are doing a split ep like are you kidding me what but yeah so this this was they did an excellent job in in mixing their sounds too i suppose i should talk about that um overall even though i have talked about like the tracks which are my favorite and such um but you know staying true to their own sounds while being able to do features with each other and and uh, sort of blending those two sounds that they've got on this ep it's very interesting also both of them having put out records recently uh, and and being going you know the next thing after this will most likely be another release cycle for both of them one would assume so uh, for me their their releases were both uh top tier uh, i felt like um, the holding absence songs that I held on to, I really held on to, like, a lot of listening. I'm not... There are, like, in circles, 
uh, No More Roses, a lot of those tracks. Some of the singles, too, hit differently for me after the full album came out. I don't know why I'm even talking about this. Um, I'm not going to continue where I was going because I was going to talk for like another five minutes. But anyway, I really enjoyed both of their records. I'm very excited for their next chapter. I thought they did an amazing job blending their sounds to make an EP together. Uh, and, and it was a little bit surprising with, with the the chorus on here but I also am not surprised at the same time because I didn't think I would know what to expect going into a, a split EP between those two bands if that makes sense so all of that being said I will link the video I reacted to all of both of the band's social media and such in the description anywhere you can physically order this or, or get merch from the bands all that will be in the description so uh, make sure you give them some love if you enjoyed this re uh, this release as I did I'll be doing a lot of revisiting to this song as I mentioned so other than that you can also find my link tree in the description as I say in every video it will have the invite link for the discord server which we've got music related conversation last FM stats new music all sorts of stuff as well as unrelated to music conversation gaming computers uh, pets all sorts of stuff so if you're interested in coming and join check out the community that will be there as well as my instagram profile link where i post all music related content my never-ending merch collection sometimes if i've been to a show recently and have pictures or videos to share from the show i'll do that and then also i post a chart every friday of what i've listened to the most over the course of the week stuff like that so as i mentioned that will be in the link tree in the description if you have any interest in following me but again my handle is rachel reacts just like my youtube channel as always, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.